Hey guys, recording? Welcome back to the vlogs, we're all the intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlogs. I uh, got a few shoes the other day, so we we'll do a little bit of an unboxing. Um, used to be a mad sort of shoe or sneaker fan back in the day, sort of got into them. Uh, I was wearing a pair of Jordans one time and one of my friends gave them to me and um, we were out in Ponsonby and this girl goes, I don't think you're the type of guy that was into Jordans. So started collecting shoes straight after that. Uh, I used to own about 80 pairs of shoes when I first met Normie and that. I uh, kind of went through a minimalist phase and gave them all away, but here we are back buying shoes again. So don't know as much about shoes as I used to. I'm um, 32 years old now, so I'm kind of just chasing comfort. But let's rip into them. Went standard Reeboks. Uh, this is just going to be my everyday shoes. I've had about maybe five or six pairs of these over the course of my lifetime. They're sort of like chucks. You just sort of always top them up every six months or a year. So got these shoes from up there as well. They're a store down in Melbourne. They're pretty much the big dogs here in Australia. They get all the sort of best shoes. Might be doing a brand collab with them as well where uh, more so content. So any new shoes that's going to be coming out, you're going to be figuring out those through YKTR as well. So we just want we just want to be talking about shoes because culturally they're relevant. But NMDs, always a fan of these. Uh, the silhouette's always been cool. The black and yellow OGs were my favourite, but I don't know. I love a yellow shoe. Oh, I've gone old school. I've seen Jerry Lorenzo rocking a pair, but I got the wrong pair. Uh, <laughs> so showing my age here a bit. I think these are from the 80s. Dan Smith. Pretty cool sneaker doco on. YouTube, I've got what it's called, I'll try and find it and tag is in it, but um, yeah, going a little bit old school. As soon as um, Jerry Lorenzo signs up to something, I'm, I'm copying it. See his Adidas tab on the back of his neck? Oh, that's the grouse too. New Balance, New Balance got a really cool history. So dad shoes are sort of the craze at the moment, and they've, these guys have sort of been the OGs. So they come back and they've done, um, over the last couple of years, everyone's been rocking New Balances at the moment. So. Happy to copy a pair of these. If you look into the history of New Balance, before there was influencers and athletes, the guys that everyone used to look up, look up to was actually the drug dealers. So what they used to do was stand on the block. So when you're from New York, you rock two types of shoes, Timberlands and Air Force Ones. And these are the types of shoes that they used to rock back in the day because they were a bit more comfortable. And they were high, they cost more than a Timberland and they cost more than a Air Force. If you're a drug dealer standing on the corner and you're rocking a pair of these, it basically meant you're getting after it. It meant that you were sort of standing on the corner of the street all day hustling. So um, pretty cool history about New Balance. Love the colorway, suede, look fucking sick. And check out this box. Whoa, how cool is that? So I got a couple pairs of these. Uh, like I said, a bit older now, I just chase comfort. Do love a yellow shoe, uh, Eddie, Eddie Zero. Not too sure what these are, but they look super, super sick. And got another color as well. Got another color as well, red. These are based off the London 2012 Olympics as well, so they haven't dropped these since then. But yeah, look super comfy. Sent through a hat as well. Up there, great guys. I met these guys in New York uh, in Soho one time. We had our meatball subs together, probably about this time last year. And a bit of a bag as well. So that's my little shoe haul. Shout out to the boys from up there. Uh, just finished our work now about three o'clock me and Zane are gonna do a quick little workout slowly starting to get back into weight So it's been on a bit of a health kick lately A um, bit of running Zane's a PT as well. So him moving in definitely helps. It's just, uh, welcome to my gym <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing down there? My section here, the salad section. I uh, just finished up a little bit of a session now. I got some food. This is what I got a bit of chicken, Portuguese chicken, uh, sweet potato fries. And if you ever hit chargos, get this it's like a bean avocado vinaigrette thingy. It's the grouse. A little bit of feed now, a bit of a swim. Shut it down for the night. Oh, right, Jordy's launching, Jordy's launching his podcast tonight, so I'm pumped to see how that goes as well. So Hey guys, first episode of Jordan and Dream is about to go live now, so if you want to watch it on YouTube, make sure you slide up here to check it out. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Ah, uh, so Jordan's Dream is just about to go live now. Watching a bit of content here. Watching the Nalk boys. I've got a bit of a setup going on right there, so I'll spend probably the next 45 minutes editing uh, today's day and then pretty much shut it down. So hopefully the podcast goes well. I'll be monitoring the comments, um, seeing the feedback. A lot of people seem to DM through YKTR, so you get a good a bit of a good gauge as well. So I think he's a little bit nervous, as you would be being your first podcast, but fingers crossed it goes well. I, I didn't have enough time to do it. <laughs> oh my god, that's how Sydney is, buddy. 
Jordan so, Simi, officially a podcaster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much a little wrap on my day. I could usually, I've just finished a little bit of editing. I'll fin- tidy all that up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's about 7.45 now. I usually try and jump in bed around 8-ish and either uh, read a book or listen to a podcast or jump on YouTube. Watch some content-based stuff. I'm really into basketball sports at the moment, so really paying attention to everything they're doing. But I wake up in the morning at the moment, probably about 4, 4.30. It's a really important part of my day because it's the only part of my day where I get to really spend on my own and um, no one's trying to email me, contact me, and I just spend time on my own mind. I think tomorrow will just be dog walk, light run, and then a uh, bit of weights, and then a bit of a swim. So that sort of gets me to about 6.30, 7 o'clock if I include a swim and a coffee, and then I usually jump in the car and head straight to work and it's an important part of my day because um, if you don't know me in person you'll probably see me speak a lot um, I speak on camera I speak on uh, podcasts Instagram sort of stories I'm always speaking and talking and um, but I like to spend a lot of time on my own I actually have introverted tendencies I really enjoy being on my own and by myself and a lot of my best ideas come in the morning uh, when I'm on a run or I usually solve problems that are happening within work on those runs or walks or swims and um, I always feel good, so it's been an important part of my 2021, that little morning routine, but yeah, um, I don't think I'll drag the camera around for all of it, I just don't want to be running with a big fucking camera, um, but I'll try and get some footage of it on my phone, so uh, have a shower, get ready for bed, and try and get as much sleep as possible. Uh, roughly about 7.30 by the time I get walk in. We've already been here. Luke, you coffee. You're ready What's here. up, vlog? <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, then we usually just get to work straight away. So Lukey's got a list that he needs to do. I've got a list that I need to do. Natasha's got a list that we need to do. So basically what I'm doing today is planning out our end of summer sale, which is going to be next week. So we only ever really go on sale three times a year, end of summer, end of winter, and Black Friday. Even though last year's Black Friday, we were out of stock, so it wasn't really that big of a sale. So this one should be a doozy. Uh, we've got to plan the marketing, um, the strategy of when we're going to put the ads in, and yeah, start making the content for that. All right, Thursday, got a design meeting for YKTR the mag. Here we are. Uh, final touches. Are we ready to launch? We want to be yeah. far off, eh? Uh, we we're just waiting for Jackson to get here because he's going to run the whole website. So uh, any content you want us to cover in this magazine, hit, hit us down in the comments. So uh, how long is this meeting going to take? An hour? I don't know. Um, it's up to you guys. Mm. So a bit of a meeting here. Yeah. Got a meeting later too as well, so take you long for that as well. Yeah. So uh, we just mentioned at the top of the show, it's uh, you know when we're talking about where we are, it's a budge, budgie smuggler studio. You put some little covers on the mic, so yeah. that one goes there. And just doing shit like that, and they just that's an annual deal. We've done it with Koala, we've done it with Baxter. Yeah, I have seen that on um, those hundred, you know, those hundred thieves guys from um, the older gamers over in yeah. LA. They're the big dogs. They've got like a cash app um, content studio, and they always say, oh, "Welcome to the cash app content studio." So yeah, um, I thought about that as well. Do you know that Grace Watkins shit? So she click, she runs click management. Yeah, yeah, right. So she's jumping on the potty next week. So it'd be interesting to sort of see what they're doing. Fuck, they do massive numbers, man. Uh, just r- finish up a meeting with the boys from Petuto Advocate. They've been in this game for a little bit, so we're trying to just pick their brain and might even get one of their business partners to start looking after all our ads and stuff as well. So uh, yeah, it'd been pretty good. Nice Melbourne still too, eh? Top 10, huh? Top 10, baby. Let's go. Let's go. go. If you haven't seen Jordan's room already, make sure you check it out. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Later.